Grazie, signora. Grazie a lei. Um, there's so much joy in this film uh, that I can't help but feel. Uh, it's a look back to your childhood, especially because you open. When you open, there's the house and the shutters open, and then at the end, it's closed. And I think I'm going back to your childhood, uh, surrounded by actors, maybe because of your father, Luigi Comencini, that you were surrounded. Yes. Credo che è una buona domanda perché in realtà c'è molta gioia nel, nel film perché è vero, perché questa casa noi avevamo anche noi una casa così non, co non come quella ma grande col giardino c'è l'idea di ricostruire un ambiente un'atmosfera di quegli anni per mio padre ma anche dei nuovi anni per loro cioè è l'incrocio tra il passato gioioso anche un po' malinconico perché lui è morto ma allo stesso tempo l'idea che loro con la loro energia possano andare avanti. Uh, that's a very good question because I think there is a lot of joy uh, in the film. Uh, there's a house, we too had a house like that, uh, not quite the same, but it was large and we had a big uh, garden. And I wanted to recreate that environment and that atmosphere that was of him. Uh, I think that, uh, and also the idea of going forward. Uh, there is a past that we're looking back upon with the joy, but also with melancholy, mm -hmm. because he's passed away. Mm -hmm. But there's also the need to find the energy to move forward. Um, you poke fun at many social norms, um, but with great humanism, uh, beginning with the way that women idealize their fathers. Mm -hmm. And sometimes their husbands. Yeah, exactly, in the same way. <laughs> yes. And Saverio, the Latin lover, was a pretty bad father, an yeah. adulterous husband. Yet his wife's, his wives and daughters still sort of sugarcoat the memories. Mm. So I'd like you to talk about that a little bit. Okay. Diciamo che Saverio è stato un grande attore e le persone che hanno fatto una grande carriera, spesso dietro ogni carriera c'è il fatto che si è trascurato qualcosa, non si può avere tutto, no? lui ha fatto una enorme carriera però ha seminato figlie in tutto il mondo e non, non è stato un padre così presente, però è stato un padre, un padre mitico. Loro hanno mitizzato il padre e dunque in qualche modo tutto il mondo gliel'ha fatto mitizzare. No, se uno è figlio di un grande attore, chiaramente tutti okay. ti dicono ah tu sei... E, però allo stesso tempo sono pronte anche a vederne la fragilità, la, il fatto che era grande ma anche piccolo e che loro devono vivere amandolo ma liberandosi dal mito. Uh, I think that Saverio was a great artist, a uh, man who had a great career, but like any of the great career, he had to neglect something. You can't have it all. Um, for example, he just sort of sowed children throughout the world, these daughters. He wasn't, as a father, he wasn't very present in their lives. And uh, as a father, he's kind of a mythic figure, and they idealized him, all the world idealized him. So. At the same time as they're ready to see his fragility, uh, they're ready to see his greatness. He was a man who was great, but he was a man who was very small at the same time. Uh, I want to talk, of course, about Verna Lisi. Mm. And uh, you made four films together. Uh, I assume you knew each other quite well. Yes. Um, tell me how you direct someone when you know them that well and you love them. Ho un rapporto molto forte di lavoro e privato con Birna, avevo, per cui eh, piano piano che ci siamo conosciuti in questi film che abbiamo fatto insieme, eh, era tutto chiaro tra noi, bastava una parola, lei è, era un'attrice molto istintiva, concreta, eh, cercava, non voleva, non celebrare, non era un'attrice cere cerebrale. Come, siamo, come sono un po' tutti gli attori italiani, anche Marcello era così, anche Gasman, tutti attori anche molto di pancia, concreti. E, e lavorando con lei ci capivamo, lei si fidava, perché la prima cosa che a un attore lo fa star bene è quando si fida del regista e lo segue. E lei come era così, per cui è stato un, sempre un piacere enorme lavorare con lei, grande piacere. Uh, well. With Verna, I had a very a strong work relationship, but also a very strong private relationship. And as we got to know each other better through the different films that we made together, uh, our language is very clear. Uh, 
Um, she just, all it took was one word to give her the right indication. Mm -hmm. She was a very instinctive and a very concrete actress rather than a cerebral, in the best mm -hmm. tradition, I think, of Italian actors, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Marcella Massoliani, yeah. Vittorio Gassman, who are also mm -hmm. actors who worked at a real gut level. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's very important to trust a director. I think the first thing that actors need is to be able to look uh, toward the director and, and feel trust in him or her. Uh, and with Verdin, it was always a great pleasure to work together. And uh, Valeria Verin Tedeschi, how differently did you direct her? This was the first time, uh, the first time I was directing Valeria. La trovo fantastica perché quello che ha Valeria, che non, non l'ha fatto ma lo può fare, è che è comica. Cioè è un'attrice che sempre, gli hanno sempre stato, fatto fare piuttosto il dramma, la tragedia. Sì. Invece lei ha un'istintiva comicità perché è buffa, perché non è mai presente, è come se fosse sempre un po' distratta e, e ha la facilità a farci ridere anche quando piange. Per me è la cosa per cui l'ho chiamata è che ho, ho sentito che dietro aveva la commedia, che poteva fare la commedia. Mm. Penso l'abbia fatto bene. Mm. Ah, I think so. This, this is a, the first time that I've worked with Valeria. She's a fantastic actress, mm -hmm. a comic actress. She's best known for doing dramatic parts, but I think that she's instinctively a great comic actress. She's a very funny. Uh, also because she's so, she's never completely there. She's always a little bit distracted. And she has the ability to make you laugh even when she's crying. Mm. And I knew, even though she's always done these dramatic parts, that she would be great in a comic role. Yeah, she's really terrific. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, One of the best in the yeah. movie, with the, Vilma and Marisa, I think. The angst, yes. you know, yes, of yes. aging, and yet she's, like you said, she's distracted, yes. and she speaks so openly, yes, you know, yes. about her therapy, and it's yes, just, yes, 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 just yes. wonderful. Yes, it's sempre credibile. Yes, yes, yes always. Yes, molto, molto credibile, anche... Yes. Um, è molto sensibile, lei dice le cose che sente, quando fa quel lungo piano sequenza in cui viene avanti, vorrei ucciderle, vorrei ucciderle, va e esce fuori e poi dice, che hanno, molti hanno camminato sul tuo cuore, lei dice tutta l'agenzia degli attori secondaria, sì. um, non vuole fare ridere, fa ridere perché non vuole fare ridere, è sensibile però lo dice in un modo che ci fa anche ridere, ci fa tenerezza, ecco, io penso che Valeria fa molta tenerezza nel film. I think that she's always believable. She's a very sensitive, uh, and when she says something, she really feels that. So in that long uh, tracking shot where she says that everyone is trampled on top of her, the yes. whole actors' union. Yes, it's the crew, wonderful. <laughs> yes. She makes us laugh because she doesn't want to make us laugh. Okay. And she always makes us feel a great sense of tenderness toward her, and I yeah. think this is her she's great strength. Tender. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, my last question, uh, people may not know you as well in the United States as they know you in, in, um, in Italy. Absolutely. And so maybe if you, it's sort of a personal question, but maybe if you could share one memory from your childhood that maybe you adapted for the film. Uh, maybe that it's in the film in some way. Ah, un, un ricordo. Um, Beh, è un po' quello che ho detto prima, cioè li, io ho, ho visto fare il cinema a casa mia, le ho visti gli scrittori scrivere insieme, ho visto come nascevano le storie ed era legato a mio padre, alla casa mia, dunque ovviamente questo si respira nel film, cioè il senso di come concretamente nascevano questi grandi film e questo penso che è presente in Latin Love, questa esperienza diretta infantile di questo mondo. Uh, well, I think uh, the memory that I have is that I saw films being created in the house, uh, you know, and, uh, because the screenwriters were in the house working with my father, and so I knew where stories came from, and I was breathing in this air in my house. I saw concretely where the great films of Italian came from, because it was, and this is very much present in The Latin Lover, um, and uh, the my childhood memories are infused in that environment. Okay. Yes, and you do a wonderful, the wonderful montage at the beginning of the film. Yes. <laughs> Where we have the comedies and the, the western. Because each movie is a daughter. Ah, okay. <laughs> each, each country is a boy is a daughter. <laughs> 
I think that's wonderful. Okay. Grazie. Thank you very much.